Hello, Internet. My name's Corwin, and this guy is Malcolm. Hi, I am Malcolm. He's Malcolm. Adam and Corwin are playing games. They're both so stupid and lame. The show is going to hell. In a handbasket. Hey there, interwebs. I'm Adam, that's Corwin. This is Handbasket Gaming, and today we're doing something experimental like we have done in the past. Not like we've done in the past. We, we've never we done anything like this before. Uh, so, uh, to, to tip our hand as to how uh, the timing for when we record stuff, uh, we're recording this right after E3, and at E3, Ubisoft uh, announced this game called Roller Champions. I love that name. And the pre-alpha demo was live for six days, but we record on the weekends, and the demo ended 9 a.m. Friday morning, so we weren't able to record it together. But I played the absolute shit out of it while it was live, and I wanted to show it to you guys, and I wanted to show it to Corwin, and like I, I really wanted to do, to. I really wanted to do episodes of it, but we can't because it ended and the timing wasn't right. Uh, so I just I put together a reel of uh, of three games, uh, three matches, and we're just gonna sort of commentate, and we're gonna see how this works. What happens? All right, let's ready, go. steady, go. Uh, so yeah, this is a uh, it's. I know nothing about roller derby. Oh, well, we're connecting, so that's a big Yeah, step we're connecting, direction. signing in, that's important. And then oh, it's a talk... beautiful day out here. Uh, yeah, this good. is the uh, the Acapulco Arena. Uh, welcome to Acapulco. And, uh, yeah, so the... Oh, look, Smokey, oh, Smokey D was over there, is that right? Yeah, sure. So that's me, obviously. Look, uh, now that's some excellent skating. Where did where did you learn to skate like that, in Adam? In the most terrible. Uh, I see you have a ball. That's good work. We have good. Oh, there we go. Yep. Um. So it like the most terrible tutorial I've ever seen, and I'm sure it's because this is in pre-alpha and they haven't. Yeah, Oof. that didn't that didn't go. Great. That didn't look good for you, buddy. Um, so since it's in pre-alpha, I'm sure that's why the tutorial is you know not very clear and not no. very good. And bam. Uh, there we go. So the whole point of this is to get the ball, uh, like have your team in possession of the ball okay. for a at least one lap around. Uh, once you complete one lap, like up in the, uh, that did look good. Up top, it shows you scoring um, a side hoop. This is just like uh, in that show in that movie with the uh, with the guys Road Del Dorado. Y no, I mean yeah, but no. Because uh, there aren't skates in Road to El Dorado. Well, it could have been. Yeah. So we got a Smoky Devil up there. He's making a move for uh, going around the yeah. long way. There we go. And then, see, oh, he saw me it. coming up on his ass, so he passed it to no one. Which is interesting, because you can't pass the ball unless one of your teammates calls for passing. So it gets very difficult to, like, you're just, like, jamming on the, the pass button yeah. to try to get rid of it when somebody's on your ass. Now, I see I see that you did not tackle her. You can't just straight up tackle her. I missed. <laughs> okay, so you can it is, tackle. Yes, you All can, right. in fact, tackle, and I just did poorly. Now, I, like, that, I like the knee squeeze that you were doing there. That that shows Yeah, that's, you, you, build your, you build your way up the wall, and then you knee squeeze down, and that, uh, that lets you build some speed. I... Uh, but yeah, so you you have to make a lap, and that activates the scoring hoop. And then, you know, if you've made one lap and then you score, it's one point. If you make two laps and then score, it's three points. Three laps and then score is five points. Now, uh, I I do got to ask a question. This is an important. So here, one. that just activated, and he's going to take a shot, and he missed. missed. Awesome. Uh, it is. It's much like uh, much like similar games of this ilk, like uh, pretty much any online team game. Bullshit. I mean, sorry. Uh, I'm sure I screamed bullshit when I was playing that too, because you you can do your little juke move to uh, to not get hit, mm -hmm. and that that was a person behind me calling for a pass, which is stupid. I, uh, what was I saying? Oh, any sort of online team game where it's kind of dependent on who you get matched with as to how well you're gonna do. I. Uh, but yeah, so you have to okay. go around and try to score, okay. and uh, matches go to five uh, points, and... Uh, and the first one wins. Yeah. So, uh, got to get this out there. I'm noticing that on this beautiful arena, on this sunshiny day here, we've got a mural spray-painted over here. Clearly, a well-paid artist was put in place to put that mural there. Who uh, who did they hire to do that? Do you know? 
What mural are you talking? Like, I it see looks no like, mural. Um, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Like right up here, it's got the milkshake, and he's surrounded by other things right up here on the wall. Oh, okay. that that uh, that was actually illegal. That was that was, uh, that was illegally done. Yeah, Banksy broke in. Ah, uh, Banksy's and, oh, see, always doing that sort of thing. I was, but you know what? He's he's an inspiration. Yeah, right there. I was just lining up for a shot, and then got uh, got tackled. Got and tackled. It didn't down. go great. Sorry, right, you uh, have an opportunity to bring it back. Yeah, the issue with this also is that as I was playing it, I realized and I'm just like, I don't know if I'm doing well. <laughs> <laughs> like, because I, like, there's no, like, A, I know nothing about roller derby. I don't know if roller derby actually has a ball in general, like, in, in real life roller derby, or if this is a, uh... Do you just tackle your own teammate? No, I tell okay. you, I'm, I'm on orange. Ah, you're on orange team. Okay, for some reason yeah. I thought you were on another color. No. But uh, it's all no, right. No. Because, oh, did she just did she did a lot of swoop. Now back in her hometown, that's what she's known for. That's kind of her gift. So I'm not surprised that she was able to pull that out down here. But it's going to take a lot of skill and a lot of talent of the team to really step up to her, uh, step up to the game that she's been laying so out. So right there, I was trying to get, I'm trying to get in front of this guy for a so pass. that he can uh, pass it to me. Oh, but you got tripped. Yeah. You know what? She is a vicious one. That is true. You're, Both you her would parents either, left her at, you would uh, early, either be the age. worst or best sportscaster in the world, and I have no idea which. I think I'm a pretty good sportscaster. I mean, I'm, I'm noticing over here that's Wayne X. Is that yeah. their name? Wayne X. Yeah, Wayne X <laughs> yep, is best um, sportscaster. That's guy's guy's name. Yep. Did I, did I read X, that if, jersey if correctly? I'm, if I'm understanding this correctly, Wayne X comes from the deeper part of see, Detroit. See, Wayne X is fucked right now because he's yeah. surrounded by three guys and the one the one person. Well, that's how Wayne X likes it usually. God, I hate that when you I uh, when you get tackled and then mm -hmm. as you're getting up you get tackled again. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, since this Swooping is in. Oh, close. it's so very new, uh, that no one really knows what they're doing yet. Exactly. Like some people seem to, and I don't know if I'm implementing good strat. And again, <laughs> and again. Uh, I don't know if I'm implementing I'm good strategy. Like some people I've seen, you know, if they're on defense. You know, you try to get in front of your teammate to set up a pass, or you go straight on the defensive and try to, you know, just pull people off of uh, off of your guys. But I don't know what's right. And like, see, there I... Uh, oh, that's the other thing, is that oftentimes you'll find, oh, suddenly we're doing terribly for a little while, and it's because one of your teammates has dropped out and been replaced by a bot. Hmm. And the bots are mm, not great. Okay, I, and the bots—they're really—they're just trying to work their way up the ladder. Yeah, they're, but they're like trying the, to get some skill. Yeah, this match right here was like it was pretty evenly matched and pretty solid. Like it was—it was a fun I'm match. That no to one's play. actually scored yet. Yeah, exactly. Like sometimes the matches are extremely one-sided, and you know, like you've got people who have worked out the strats somehow and know what they're doing. Like, and that's the thing is that you're, pro tip, pro tip for people playing this once it releases like next year. Uh, I'm sure they will have changed this by this point, but if you just do the tackle move over and over again, you go much faster than the people in front of you. You can close distances pretty darn quick just by tackling over and over again and tackling no one. That might get fixed. It doesn't seem like it's going to stay. I, I would hope it gets fixed because, like, the whole, you know, work your way up the side and then do the tuck move. You now, know, I'm that's, noticing that's this how you're supposed part of to the, Part of the Rocket League is what they're calling this. So, uh, no. uh, how many teams are in the Rocket League? That's a uh, an ad for the other game uh, called Rocket League. <laughs> oh, so I see. Rocket Which, League's a new sport that's coming to town, eh? It's an extremely old game. Mm. It's like four or five years old at this point. Ah, the Rocket uh, Leaguers. I did just recently download it because oh, I realized time. I owned it and didn't actually... Uh, didn't actually download it yet, and we haven't played it on the show, so we might end up doing that at some point. Okay. Uh, Rocket League is soccer, but with cards. Now, we got Smokey D coming up on your front. See, and that was just bad playing on my part, and I got really well, lucky that the bot was right there for me to pass to. Uh, in your but, defense, Smokey D has a long history of very deep, intense eye contact. Yeah, well, his D is so smoky that it yeah. just chokes you. It's very common for, like, he does, it walks out on bills... Frequently, he just locks eyes with the waiter, and the waiter doesn't know what to do, and then he just leaves. And before the waiter even knows what happened, bada bing bada boom, Smokey D over there has long since left. Sure, sure. And unfortunately, it's just a character flaw. Like, we've been trying to coach him into being a better person. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But Smokey D does not always, uh, don't always follow up. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that the, uh, that the tutorial made kind of unclear is whether or not directionality matters. 
Like when you're making your laps, you know, there's the arrow up in the corner and oh, go for oh, the shot. Oh, 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 boom. There we go. Point has been made. And we Johnson were, did it. Yeah, and we were in overtime there, so that's the that's end of the just game. It's a winning game. Um, see, and that, like that juke move. Let's that, see it uh, again. Let's see this again. He lines it up. He had a clear shot. No one interrupted him. The failure on Smokey D's part. Smokey was too busy trying to get milkshakes off the side of the road over Yeah, there. and that is, that is one of the funniest things in the replays. Uh, oh, and now we're on to game two. Because, uh, like I said, I just put together oh, yeah. a highlight reel. But, and not really a highlight reel. Now, these just are, three this different is a whole games. different team, but this is later on in the afternoon we're watching. So Yeah, this was, I think, two games later. Uh, if I remember correctly, this particular match, the, the proceeds from this match is going to save the Dolphins, which is definitely a heroic and enjoyable thing. I'm yes, glad that we're the, doing it's, it. It's all getting uh, getting donated to the Miami Dolphins. Yep. Um, and there I was calling for pass for no reason. Well, you just uh, not sure what, what I was doing fans, there. That's so, all. so like here I was trying the strategy of like passing my guy, I mm -hmm. uh, to just sort of, like to open myself up for a pass. Ooh, uh, hard, hard. And blow. there, you know, I had I had no defense, and it was entirely everyone else's fault, not mine. I, but like, and like, see, like I keep trying different uh different strategies here, where like I'll reverse the feet, like because I've. I'm just like mimicking things that I've seen other people do, where you go against the current and you try to hit them from the front. Yeah. But the we accuracy required. Thing. Yeah, the accuracy required to do that is uh, is very difficult. So, mm. I found after oh, see, and there I fucked up real hard by completely stopping my my teammates' forward now momentum. You, you do have the ball now, so is that? Yep. Oh. oh. See, and then I was waiting, like I was letting Sponge bomb. That's a great name, or no, Sponge, but Sponge. I was letting the sponge. Yeah, you're letting the sponge go. I was trying to let the sponge pass me. But Dynamax so, over there was just kind of yeah, exactly. too aggressive. Uh, I was gonna, you know, let him pass me so that I could then pass to him. Uh, and just further, like, because I've seen some of the well, like, the well-organized teams uh, that I've played against, they're just, like, they constantly pass. Like, nobody holds on to the ball. Well, that's for... how you win at games like this. Like, basketball's a game of passing the ball. Yeah, exactly. And if you have people who are, you know, like, in on that, oh, I see, and that was very bad. If you're coming off of the wall and you do a jump and then land at an inhuman angle that physics would not, act, like, you couldn't land that without breaking your legs in real life. Mm -hmm. It stops your forward momentum, as it well now, should. I like to go ahead and point out that uh, Bullies over here is the one that currently has the ball. Yeah. Um, Bullies is a is a home hero back in the Alabama state where she comes from. Yep. Uh, unfortunately for uh, for her, she does have level seventeen cancer. She's not going to make it past today's game. Level but seven. Hopefully, or we're kind of hoping for it to have one win right before they uh, close the curtains. See, and there, that just happened, and that was... That is a five-pointer shot, yep, eh? Yep, yep, that's, that's a game. How did they get five points in one shot? Because they, I told you, they completed they three have... laps. Ah, okay. And that one was, uh, you know, one of those where I should have recovered that ball, and then mm. I just didn't. And it was really bad. For the fans, um, though, let's point out that at least Bullies, now no longer with us, had a good... No, it's Final actually that out. that uh, that win acted as both radiation and chemo with no side effects, and they're doing fine. That's outstanding news. I'm glad you lost, Adam. Yeah, but then I stabbed. Oh, well, good. <laughs> um, I don't want it to be too easy. So initially, I was only going to do uh, like one one example, like you know, one win, one loss, and call it a day. But then, well, as I was playing, uh, this map is too cool for you not to play exactly. on. Exactly. Yeah. Like, because I had been, this, this is some, like, I had played, like, a dozen or so, like, actually, no, like, a couple dozen matches uh, on this game, and every single one was Acapulco Arena, and, like, the, the title screen constantly said, new arena unlocked, Acapulco, and it's just like, yeah, I guess it's new, <laughs> <laughs> like, it's the week-long demo, so it's still within the first week of Acapulco being unlocked, and see... Oh, and they actually did pass it to me that time. Good it's, work. Uh, but, no. like, you're dependent on your team quite a bit. And, like, I feel like this would be a great game to get, you know, get with a small you, group, group of friends together. Oh, yeah. You know, three, three best friends that anyone could have. And uh, and you just get in this game and get good at it and dominate. So, like, here I like I was very solidly ahead out in front of the pack. That was mm -hmm. a perfect uh, passing opportunity. And they opted to not. 
And that's fine. It's it's fine uh, <laughs> that that happened. Well, now that you have the ball, you're here but to then prove there's, your worth. And so. then there's somebody behind me calling for a pass. And that just doesn't make sense to me. I mean, I don't know if I'm right about that. Because, like I said, you don't... Oh, there we go. Good move. That is a sharp move. Obviously, you have been practicing in the offseason. How much time do you spend practicing, would you say? Um, About uh, two hours. The, two uh, hours. The first night that it was out, I played for about two hours, you know, like... Uh, a dozen or so games, and then uh, excellent. Then I then I recorded once, and realized that I did not have the game audio up at all, and so there was no audio. Much happening. quieter sound happening. Yeah, it was. Uh, so it was really like watching this with no sound on, and I just realized that we don't have the sound up. So I still don't know what the like. I hope there's. I, I hope so, the sound well, in this isn't terrible. I'm finding um, that uh, the. The quiet part of the game really helps the audience focus on the intensity on all of your faces. Yeah, because you can see our faces. Oh, yeah. Um, You've got that golden uh, featureless face on the back of your head. And, uh, <laughs> and now why is my neck here, bent all the way around exorcist oh. style? That's It's <laughs> it's strange, honestly. It's, it's, very, it's uh, a talent that you learned for this show, which I'm I personally think it shows your dedication and your ability to really step above the rest. Yep. Now, uh, layman, layman is, is lame men. Yeah, lame men was a sh <laughs> or lemonin, lemonin. I think no one was expecting lemonin to win. He's been last in his class every single time. Yeah, some people may have uh, also just said, you know, that he is he is multiple dudes and is, is all quite lame. Uh, quite nerdy, and but no, he uh, he did well. I uh, so that was in a like an acquired. A uh, bit of knowledge as to where the ball releases. Mm -hmm. It took me probably I keep saying a dozen, uh, but it took me what felt like about a dozen matches to realize that the ball does always release in the same place. <laughs> uh, it wasn't until I was I happened to be paying attention the one time to one of my teammates who immediately turned around and went behind me mm. at the beginning of the map because initially I would always just start you know. Start Ooh. going around the circle so that I could build up some uh, build up some momentum. Uh, now so it shows I could you hope... threw the ball behind yourself. Yeah, well, this is like I was saying. I don't know what good strategies are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the guy behind me kept calling for pass, and I'm just like, okay, guy behind me calling for pass. Maybe that's a legitimate strategy. Maybe that's a good thing. I did good defense on this one. Like, I would I... say that in my I my belief is that. Keeping the ball moving keeps their attention split. Thus, passing it whenever an opportunity to pass comes up could be a good idea. Yeah, but at the same time, like, I tried passing it behind myself there. And now, Layman scored again. Now, that is something that we Oh, yeah, and here's a, that was a fun little glitch there where we all froze in place and then caught up later. Um, and then, like, seeing that cool shit. Like, you see that shit? He went up on the wall and went through the thing himself. He didn't even need to throw the ball. Maybe. I don't know <laughs> if that's true at all. And since this is a new uh, a new arena, I got turned around and thought the ball was releasing in this corner, but it was. <laughs> uh, but yeah, see, there I'm, I'm solidly ahead of my guy. He could have passed it to me. He opted not to. Uh, and I don't know if that's good or not. <laughs> Uh -huh. Like, I don't know if this is good strat. Well, no, this time I am certain that he should have passed it to me. Oh, yeah. Like, maybe he didn't know what was good strategy, though. Yeah. So. It's it's really frustrating now, to not. Now, Bot 1. Bot 1 came, did just fuck my day up. They just came yeah. out of left field. Uh, He's an underdog. Not a lot of people were really rooting underbot. for. Yeah, he's an underdog. He's a Roomba. <laughs> he is absolutely a Roomba. Oh, broke Un my knees. Unrelated broke note, both one, my of my, knees. one of my favorite videos online right now is the guy who programmed his room by to scream whenever it hits walls. <laughs> I have not seen that. I'll have to check oh, that out. After it screams episode. and cusses and like complains. It's like, who put this here? See, uh, oh, and that was an interesting move. That person tried to pass and failed mm. and uh, wound up giving us the ball. Uh, but yeah, so this is, oh, that's a fun move too. I. Uh, it ends up slowing you down in the long run, but if you jump and uh, if you jump and then hit tackle, you sort of rocket through the air in a very physics-defying way. And I'm not sure if it'll be patched out or not, or if that's like how it's intended to happen. Uh, but essentially, if you're oh, see, and then I keep doing that, so bad. Uh, 
if you're like if you're like two people are trying to tackle each other and you both hit the tackle button, it goes based off of who's going faster. Mm. Unless you have done the leap and knee them in the fucking face move where you're just rocketing through the air knees first. Uh, like from what I've seen, that makes you win every uh, every encounter. Neat. And Layman over here is really becoming a star today. Layman, yeah, Layman. without doubt, he's, he's going to get a free steak tonight. Like, that's going to happen. Yeah, if I could have bought him a steak, I would have. And then, see, like, this guy's all over it. Like, I, I really, I'll admit, I played pretty well in this match. Like, I, I played okay in this match, I should say. Uh, but I was absolutely being carried by my team. Because, like, he's already half, like, he's got a half lap going already. Well, and, like, know, that was pretty decent defense on my part. As we've learned from hand basket gaming games in general, normally you are being carried by your co host. That's true. Whose and talent knows no bounds. Yes, this is true. No bounds at all, uh, including the bounds of taste and uh, uh, skill, good timing, uh, words pants in even general, pants. Not yes, the bounds of pants <laughs> is always on question. <laughs> the leaps and bounds of. Uh, it also... Are, if I'm correct, isn't your co-host usually doing weird shit like uh, during or on, on the side of the oh, episodes? the hat trick. I'm sorry, nice. I, I managed to tackle all three of their players and it made me very happy. That was talented. And then uh, Joe they Sarah... Just Wii over and over again. Yeah, and then Joe Sarah 9412 uh, got a... <laughs> That's the funniest thing during the replays is that the... So dad ass. Yeah. Uh, where... When you're lining up your shot, you just sort of forget to skate, and you just sort of freeze, and you're like this, and you're just rolling along. <laughs> uh, it's very entertaining. But anyway, that's uh, that's Roller Champions. It's a solid and game. Yeah, I folks look forward to checking it out when you get the opportunity. Yeah, I played a ton of it, and uh, once it releases in beta, we'll probably play it live on the show. Yes, we will. Um, so let's just go ahead and just uh, just ask. Um, a good idea for you to do is to support your local library. Yeah, yeah, it's a good idea. Like it's it's got more than just books. Yes, it does. It does. It serves a lot of purposes. Also, magazines. You, uh, you know, it it allows uh, internet access for people who old newspapers. Yeah, it, like free internet access for people who don't have internet access. Let them apply for jobs and stuff like that. It smells. It's uh, like you know nice. after school programs. Local libraries are fucking awesome. Yeah, and if Meet you disagree, then. Fuck you. Or dudes. Whatever you want. Subscribe. Ah! <laughs>